Well, they come in, they roll in, and I should tell you that we didn't get any audio of the video. That's why I'm telling you the story here. Well, this is the morning after the hunt. We found the bear. What an exciting hunt. Uh, just a little bit of background story for this spot. It's private land. There's a cornfield here. And I just happened to ask the, the landowner and he gave Noah and I permission to come in here and set up a bait and hunt some bears. So I set it up on a Saturday. Donna and I came in on a Monday. She shot her bear on a different bait, but we came in here hoping that the bait would be decimated because of the cornfield. And we did see some bear sign. Barrel was still standing, so we backed out. We went to another bait that I established and Donna shot her bear yeah. with a crossbow. So I thought, okay, if the bait was still full and not hit on Monday, that gives us four or five days. And I was hoping it wasn't going to be empty. We got here and it was hit and it looked like there'd been some decent bear activity, but not crazy. Half the barrel was eaten, so we filled it up. And instead of hunting uh, from a tree stand, we decided to do a ground blind. And we brushed it in really good. We're about 12, 13 yards from the bait. And then we sat there and we sat on these uncomfortable chairs. Legs cramping. Just. Legs cramping, <laughs> back cramping. No bears, just like a centipede or something in the dirt. Looking up at the trees too, just trying to pass the time. Nothing. Nothing. Then about 7.20, I could hear something scratching behind its ear. Like uh, we've heard that many times. Pretty sure it's a bear, but we haven't seen any bears. Heard a couple branches break. Then about 7.30, 7.35, it's real thick, but I kind of peer my head out to the right where I heard the bear scratching its ear and I can see a form of a bear. It wants to come into the bait, but it's just checking it out. And then I hear a snap to our left. Before I know it, there's two bears coming out from where the corn is. And from the bush to the corn, there's about 30, 40 yards of cultivated field. So I didn't think the bears would feel that comfortable in daylight hours exposing themselves coming to the bait from there. If the corn was right up against the bush, that's where I think most of them would be coming from. So these two bears roll in and then another bear and they're all like six foot plus. I'm trying to pick and choose. I'm looking which one should I shoot? And then before I can decide, they sit down and start eating. And then the biggest one of the bunch, he comes in and I had a brief shot, but I was still debating whether he was the biggest one. And then he lies back down and I'm like, okay, that is the biggest one. And then my arrow, I had some tension on it. I guess I let go of the string and the arrow just dunk right into the blind. I can tell it's an unnatural sound. So then the big bear, he gets up and he runs away a little bit. And then I go to get the arrow. And while he saw my movement and he took off, but this bear was feeding on the barrel and he comes around and he's quartering too slightly. I didn't think he was quartering as much as he was. And I put it behind the shoulder and let it go. And I hit low, I guess, further back. As we're tracking, it started to rain and we tracked him. And then as we're tracking, we heard him death moan, started moaning. <laughs> so that was pretty crazy to know yeah. that we're tracking a bear that's not quite dead. And then he's moaning. We come to a spot and Noah hears him moan again, just softly and it's the last spot we found blood. I walked 10 yards further, can't see anything. Well, this morning we come in and the last spot where we saw blood and where I walked 10 yards further, he was 10 yards beyond that. So we could have been skinning on him last night in the rain, but this worked out good. We found him, it stayed cool. The meat's gonna be great. The hide's gonna be great. Uh, we're gonna get it off. Hopefully I can show you how to skin a bear. It's not raining right now. Uh, it's, it was a fun hunt. Yeah. We can sum it up long bouts of boredom with a couple of minutes of intense action because Crazy there was, action yeah, all these boars, the yeah, bait. no all sows, same size, big bears. all, yeah, big bears, um, one that would have been real nice, but this one will do. Yep. Right on. So let's get skin in the spare. <laughs>